The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 215 pounds, the best. Sean o. Guys, we have two Connor. of WWE's most exciting superstars ready to square off here. And there's nothing quite like seeing two superstars settling it in the ring in one-on-one -on -one action, Michael. And his opponent, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 236 pounds, the real deal, Bradley Reynolds. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one-on-one -on -one action. And Michael, it sounds to me like this crowd already picked the one who they want to win this match. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be Jeez. number one. Putting it all on the line. Bang! Are you kidding me? He's got him covered. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Too early in the match to end it. He wants no part of the outside. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. Here we go. Back inside the ring. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right up there, Michael, but let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table.
Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. Nope, reverses it. As Byron mentioned, Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question gruesome. And furthermore, he goes for the cover. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Oh, wow. Oh, that's the impact. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. Close line! Right in the back of the neck. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely... Oh, what a roundhouse kick! But he's gotta capitalize now! Now that got those shoulders on the mat. And the fight must go on. How in the world? Brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of that night came after the match. I'd agree with that for sure. Absolutely nobody thought they'd see Seth Rollins on that night, especially Roman Reigns. Oh, so ruthless! Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Well, it's not going to be pretty. Go to sleep, GTS. Night, night. The shoulders are down. Too close for cover. Can you believe this? Oh boy, he is rolling. We've seen this before. Ooh, this might be it. Oh my. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. I don't believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match, but what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river, Saxton. These competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession. Both of these competitors have so look out. Man, uh oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Pedigree! We may be looking at our winner here, guys. Did you hear that? He's got the shoulders down. Two, three. What a way to win a singles match. Here is your winner, the real deal, Bradley Reynolds. Gonna feel the effects of this win for a while. I got a feeling they're going to be talking about this win for a while. Yeah, you can bet they're going to be talking about this match for quite some time.